Welcome back to Everyday Iowa on this Wednesday morning while we're about to kick off our book club of the month. And joining us is Bart Carithers from Next Page Books because it's going to be a collaboration with Bart. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing fine. I have a great. bit of a frog though. Yes. Uh, we'll join the club, so <laughs> we're going to be great. And then Hannah Messier is going to be joining us for this segment as well, so I'm really excited about that. Hannah's an avid reader. I love reading, yeah. Yes. Reading is one of my favorite hobbies. Mm -hmm. I read like 20 plus books this past year, and I'm really excited about the book Bart's picked for us to know, read this me month. me too. I'm going to go ahead and set this <clears> up here. I've already kind of started reading it a little bit because I kind of had a little heads up. But before we get started on the book, Bart, go ahead and tell us a little bit about Next Page Books in case people haven't seen previous Okay. Uh, Next Page Books uh, has been down in Nubo for 12 years now. It was originally Nubo Books. Uh, when I purchased the store in 2015, it became Next Page Books. Okay. But 12 years is a bookstore. Um, a bookstore so now. we're pretty well established. Yes. And last time you were here, we did have a, another special guest. You're, you're very, uh, I guess you'd say your um, number one employee was here with, with us. That <laughs> Frank, was Frank. Frank was here. Frank was here. Um, Maybe next time. Yeah. Maybe next time. Maybe we'll next see. Time. Yes. We'll see. Well, you know, sometimes he ha needs a day off. <laughs> Frank is a cat, so cats need a lot of days off. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. That's very true. All right. So today is J.J. Uh, J.R. Tolkien's um, birthday. Yep. So the first thing I want to ask, I don't know, have you read his books? Either I one of you? I love his books. Do you? I okay. love Fellowship of the Ring. Okay. Two Towers is pretty good too, mm -hmm. but the parts where Gollum is like going through the marshes <laughs> off to Mordor, you're, they, you, that's just, it can be dark at times, yeah. but it's also so hopeful. I, I right. love all that's the symbolism. Your, it's good. Do you? Do you read those or not your? I have never read any of his books. Really? Yeah. I'm kind of surprised. I figured you've read everything. I'm almost ashamed to say that, but yeah, no, I've okay. not read any that's of his okay. books. So you don't have a favorite? No. No. Do you have a favorite genre of book? Um, I think typically general fiction. Okay. Yeah. General fiction. How about you, Hannah? Favorite? Um, I like fantasy books. Fantasy, fantasy books. books and sci-fi books. I'm kind of yeah. a geek. Kind of. Well, that brings us to our book of the month here. So what we're going to do, we're going to introduce the first week of the month, introduce the book, and then after that, what we're going to do is um, the next month, discuss the book, and then you'll introduce next month's book. Pretty simple, right? Great. Yes. Yeah. So talk about a little bit about Northwoods here. Well, to be honest, Northwoods was probably my favorite book that I read in 2023. Wow. Okay. Um, so when you asked me to do this segment, mm -hmm. it was a pretty easy choice yeah. for me because I think it will have broad appeal mm -hmm. uh, to your viewers. The book itself is by Daniel Mason. Uh -huh. um, it spans four centuries, uh, starting mm -hmm. back in the 1600s in colonial yeah. America in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And it, the story begins with two young lovers who flee their Puritan colony, uh -huh. uh, make their way north in the woods to northern Massachusetts, mm -hmm. where they build a small cabin. And then from there, the story progresses. It's all the subsequent people who then occupy that cabin. Uh, but it's not just their story. It's the story about the environment, the nature around mm -hmm. that property, um, the other people who come in and out of their lives, um, and also some spirits who just never left the area. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So there's a bit of... There's a lot going on in this book. There's a lot bad. going on in this book, yes. um, but I think people will really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is that something that... Kind of your. Uh... It sounds really interesting. Like the, I bet all I, I'm excited to know how all the characters interact with each other, especially if it's like multi generational. I bet mm -hmm. that's a lot of fun. Is that something we can look forward to in the book? A bit of that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it is really interesting how many different people come to occupy this home. Uh -huh. um, it started as a one room cabin. Uh -huh. uh, became a larger house over time, uh, was well maintained uh, until towards the end of the book, the end of the story, uh, where the home uh, is in decline. Okay. Um, but that's an integral part of the story as well. Wow, okay. So you said there was another book that you might have too, in case that isn't something that, there was a, is there another book that you had in mind for people? In case that isn't something that people were interested in. Yes, you do. Look at that. Well, right they, here. Sh they should be interested in They should be, in yes. This. I know. They um, should be. But I brought uh, the latest book by Anthony Horowitz, mm -hmm. um, who's a murder mystery writer. Okay. And this is the fourth book in a series. This is The Twist of a Knife. 
Mm -hmm. um, and it's really clever because he writes himself yeah. into the story. He's one of the fictional characters, and he and a detective uh -huh. um, go out and try to solve these murders. Yeah. Um, and in this book, he has just written a play, and it mm -hmm. opened, uh, but reviewers panned it. And a day or two after the play opened, one of those reviewers was found murdered, and he was the prime suspect. So then the story goes from there. Oh, wow, okay. That's so there's, pr yeah. Pretty fast paced, and there's some humor in this as well. Well, I like humor, dark humor. <laughs> is that more, is that kind of something that you'd be interested in do? Um, murder mysteries are great. Yeah. I really like the Sherlock Holmes books, they're good. Agatha uh -huh. Christie is good, and this kind of sounds like a modern version of that, mm -hmm. maybe? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, very much so. Okay. So my favorite books were always like, I. I love the classics. I love Catcher in the Rye. I love To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, and then, then I get really into Dan Brown. Is there like a, an author that you really kind of tend to go to as well? Oh, my. Um, there, I don't think there is. There is, I don't, okay. And if someone were to ask me what's my favorite book, that would be a hard thing to yeah, answer I bet. as well. Okay. I read a lot of books. I know. See, that's why I'm kind of surprised that he hasn't read any of the Tolkien books. Okay. No. Okay. No. no. Sorry. Hannah, what's your favorite, favorite book of all time? Do you have one that... Oh, um, I like Christopher Paolini's, like, Inheritance Cycle books. Mm -hmm. I read those a lot growing up. I also really love The Help. That's a good oh, book. Okay. I that love The good, Help. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I, you can't go wrong with Lord of the Rings. I can yeah. go back to that. <laughs> well, I'm really excited about this because I used to read quite a bit, and I haven't for a while. I kind of got out of it. So this is going to get me back into it, and I'm excited to discuss these books coming up in February. We'll try to get, like, the first week of February, probably the first Wednesday is what we're looking at. So go to Next Page Books or your local bookstore, grab a couple copies of this, and we'll discuss this book coming up in February. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for dealing with my voice today guys. I appreciate that. <laughs>